Welcome to another GIMP tutorial. In this video, we'll learn about the basics of layers within GIMP. There's a couple different things to know about layers. One is we can use layers across the top menu bar here. We can create a new layer, and there's some different options for layers. We can delete or duplicate a layer. And then the way that we interact with these layers is over here towards the right-hand side. And right now we see we have one layer called background. Now, if you're not seeing this, or if it's not called background, for example, if this is closed, if we don't have a document, our layers appears empty because we have no layer because we have no project. But if we open up an image, maybe I'll just open an image for a good example. We'll choose an image and we'll open it up, just a regular uh, JPEG image. And now we see the name of the image and it is also our layer. We can change the name by just double clicking in here and we can call this guy. And so this is like the, the guy layer. But the reason layers are nice is because, let's say we wanted to draw we want to like circle this guy. Well, if we want, if we draw the circle and then later on we get doing something else, we adjust the colors and we want to move, change this circle a little bit. We've learned in the past we could kind of select. Uh, there's different options, but really, since it's all on the same layer, what we've done is we've drawn, we've changed the pixels underneath this to black. They're all just black now. So if we want to move it, we can grab the move tool. But what we're going to end up doing is moving the circle and the image together. And if that's not what we want to do, what we could do is I'll do control Z a bunch of times. We can come over here and go layer, new layer, or I can right click in this area and just go to new layer. And it brings up this dialog to create a new layer. So I'll call this layer circle. I was doing this earlier, which is why that populated with that. I'll leave everything else the same and hit OK. So now I have this circle layer and it has a little white highlight around it. That's telling me that that is the layer I'm on, not the guy layer. Last time when I drew the circle, I was on the guy layer. So I'm gonna click on this circle layer and now I'm going to draw a circle just like last time. And now if I want to move, it'll just move the circle. But what it's really doing is moving everything on this layer. And we could do, we can grab like the resize, like the scale tool, and we can scale and change the size of this circle. But again, what we're really doing is changing the scale of everything on this layer. And by that, I mean, if I, if I had something else drawn over here and I wanted to do, maybe point like an arrow or something. Well, if we go to move now, it's going to move the circle, but we can't select just the circle and move it separately without moving this arrow and also this. I can also come over here to just the layer of the guy or just the layer of the entire image and I can move the entire image around now keeping these everything else drawn on the other layer uh, intact. Now I'm going to drag it right here. We see these dots, these uh, sort of squares here. We looked at a little bit in the past. This just shows that this is transparency. So when this image is actually rendered out, and let's just do it right now and see what it would look like. If we go to uh, export as and I'll call it uh, test and put it on the desktop. We can see what this image will look like. I'll just export it. So this image looks like this now. It has white up here because it was transparent and it just defaulted to white and it cut off the bottom of that, but it still has both these layers, but now everything's all just together. It's just a, a collection of pixels. I can't edit these layers. I can't move this arrow or the circle independently. It's all just one flattened image. That's called like flattened when you do that. Um, but in here, I still can do that. But I wanted to show you what that transparency looks like. Also over here, we have these little eyes. So we can turn off just this layer and keep looking at this layer. Maybe it's distracting us. We want to just draw and then turn this on. Uh, it's still there. It's not deleted or anything. It's just toggling whether it's viewable or not. The eye, when the eye is closed or off, it's not viewable. And when it's open, it is viewable. And we can turn off the drawing part too. And we could bring in another layer if we wanted. We can right click and go new layer. Um, we can just call this one whatever we want to. And now we have this different type of this different layer here. And maybe I'll do something. Well, watch this. If we grab the smudge tool and I try to sm apply smudge here, or we try to do the clone tool and we try to clone different parts, nothing's happening. That's because we're referencing nothing. The, the layer we're on is this. So if I turn off these, this is what we're really seeing. So we're cloning, but we're cloning transparency into transparency. And when we grab the smudge tool, we're smudging transparency. And when we grab the move tool, we're moving transparency. So 
and that really is actually looks like it is moving the the layer you can <laughs> the layer because the layer is the same size it has attributes too um, but what I want to show with that is if we have everything turned on and let's take this one and let's just fill it with a color so that the transparency is not throwing us off let's fill it with red and now it fills everything but the black's still there but the picture's gone right now this guy image is at the very bottom which is why we can't see it if we left click and drag it to the middle it's kind of it's above the red but it's behind the this uh, circle that's why the circles on top but the red is behind the image and if we drag this on top then we just see the image well it's dragged down so we see a little bit differently but we can't see those black arrows on top let's say we grab this red layer it's just solid red and drag it on top well now we only see red so whatever's on top is what you see first and then if there's any gaps or transparency like those squares you'll see it behind does that make sense so if we were to turn this off this red we see the transparency what's really there which is nothing transparent unless something's in its way and then it appears there this is a basic introduction there's a lot more um, that we're going to get into with layers but go ahead and play with these for now toggling viewing it and then toggling when you're selected on the layer and just know when you have a certain tool selected like move uh, make sure that you're moving the layer you can hover over and move the layer and not the selection because you can also move the selection like we learned about previously and that just moves what is selected it doesn't really move the layer um, this one you can either pick a layer to move so whatever layer you click on will move or if you just say move active layer it'll move whatever layer is selected but always whenever you're using like a drawing tool or most of the tools over here it'll usually only apply to whatever layer has this little white highlight around it whichever one you're selected on well that's basic layers hopefully i haven't confused you uh, any more with that one go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any and take a little time to play with layers because it's a very fundamental part of gimp and understanding layers is going to help you be able to go a lot farther in gimp thanks for watching catch you in the next video